Hi guys, I am Aloy from manbfx.com and this is the presentation of the Monoshare Master 1.5. I will present today the new joint system that I created. I think it's very very easy to set up and it it will help you in a lot of things. Uh, the procedural joint system creates joints between concrete big objects, concrete small objects and steel objects. And in concrete small objects creates joints between all the objects and also if you prefrag them will create joints on the prefrag objects. Let's create something. Also it creates joints with all the deflectors in the scene. Uh, for example this will be a deflector. Let's change the name of the deflector and create some more boxes. It's important that the pivot point is on the center because the every object will look other particles from his pivot point. So only center to object. And let's copy. Wait, sorry, get out from here. Copy some objects. For example, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Let's create some interesting structure here. Uh, copy three, for example. Copy this here. You can create any type of objects. For example, I will create a teapot. In an example of 3D, always you need a teapot. I don't know why, but it's a basic rule in 3D. So, copy three times, let's put more or less the same distance. Let's copy this on the other side and copy this here. So, okay, pretty basic. Let's introduce this in Demolition Master. We will use concrete small objects for this. Simply open it. This will be the deflector, so deflector, peak. Always remember that you have to instance the shape. And the others will be concrete as small objects, peak. Open the dialog and you select all the box and tipots. And this is OK. Um, change effect all, so all the objects on the list will go to the instance shape and we will hide them. So now we have here particles, in thinking particles. If we play, you see that actually when this touch some particles enters on the group but the others are not affected because are on a freeze state. So it's quite cool. You can move this to any place in real time how it's affecting. Quite cool, but there is no joints by default, so to create it, it's quite easy. Let's check this for example. Enter on Demolition Master another time, and we have a new rollout that is called Procedural Joints. Quite simple. I will show you, this is the type of joint created. You have four, I put here the four more used, spherical, fixed, ball and wobble. We will use for now fixed. These are the parameters of the joint. Fixed has no parameters, so this, this, this will not affect them. Angle is for balls, wobble is for the wobble one, and friction affects ball and spherical. But right now in fixed we will not use this. Break velocity, break rotation, if it's if we've checked that the these joints can break, uh, these parameters are when the joint will break. Right now we will not use them and 10% of, of joints are the number of joints created so if we put 50% there will be 50% of these particles that will not create joints. Right now 100%. So we want to create joints uh, on the concrete particles. We have create joints on concrete. Let's see what's happening. Go to the first frame I created a display system 
that it's quite good, I think, to see what's happening here. Let's reduce first the radius. This is the radius for the concrete and the steel objects. So every particle is looking on this radius, other particles and will join them. So first decrease it a little bit. Now it's not creating any join because the radius is too small. Increase gradually 20, 40, 40 it's happening something. So this particle it's selected on the middle, so this particle has a join on this position. So from this position, this particle, uh, if we put a ball, for example, this particle will rotate from here. In fixed, the particles will try to stay always in the same position. But here it's not creating joints because the radius is still too small. But put 50. And now we need joints here. Put 60. Okay. Now we have joints everywhere. If you put it very big, for example 200, this will create joints, this particle with this particle, this particle with this particle, and you don't want this, you can have some bad results, so try to avoid it. This is very cool, let's play, quite fast too, ah, these particles. Ok, there is no joints here, uh, ooh, 65, I create this a little more far, so now this is good, play again, but no, now it's good. Quite interesting, but everything is fixed, you see that there is a little of flex here due to the joint system, but you expect that here you will have a join and will be connected to the ground and this is independent, it's deflect join, so deflectors will create joints create, click and also you have a radius for deflectors right now this particle is connected with this and you are only interested that the first particle is connected on the deflector so decrease this and now red particles are this red display are the particles that are connected with deflectors, the green one are concrete and there is a yellow one for uh, steel, the steel is exactly the same, so I will not show you right now, and let's see what's happening now, play again, wow. <laughs> quite cool, um, this tries always to stay on the position, play again, quite fast, ok good. And you can say, for example, instead of here, we put this here. You see that everything is reacting as expected. Very cool. For example, what you can do is create a simulation with this, export the simulation, and after use a single mesh for this and create a skin, a skin with these as bones and you will have a very cool and nice steel deformation on this object. Ok, this is fixed. Also there is other objects, try for example with ball, we can try with a low angle first. This will, every piece can rotate a little more, but will not stay vertically, you will see, will fall like a cloth. It has like some cloth behavior. It's quite cool. You can play with it. Wobble creates more like gum object. Try it. I normally use Fixed or Ball. Fixed is very cool to simulate uh, reinforced concrete structures. And the other cool thing is that we can break this by impact. So, concrete is still breakable. Check it. And now break velocity and break rotation enters in account so check quite good uh, we can increase the break rotation for example so it will not break so soon ok play it a little bit
akkor az Ambalik új shot here, maybe we'll break it. Bam! <laughs> This is quite nice. So, we see how it works the joint system. It's pretty fast. But another very cool thing is that this deflector or all the joints are interactive. So, if we move with this deflector, for example, great. This is looking always also the always a face, but we can go there. We can put it, for example, on the top. You see how the joint is created automatically. Up here and check it again. Now it's connected from the top. Uh, we will see it better if we don't break it. Automatically it's done. Play. We have it connected from the top and not from the bottom. If we create here, we will create multiple joints. You can see. And it's created from here. Um, also, you can create as many deflectors as you want. So, you can create three or four deflectors, and every deflector will create joints with these particles. So, it's quite fast and interesting, I think, for a lot of things. Especially concrete join with concrete breakable will create very great results. Try for example decrease the number of joints so always will break it in different parts. Um, for example 50% so 50% of the particles will not create joints. Nice.